Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. I'm back in action. I feel better. I am better. So I'm going to give you guys an awesome video. Now you'll notice how I have my animation um, little loggy thing open, and I will explain why. So recently I was fiddling around or playing around in Photoshop, and I made a cool little animation in Photoshop that I thought you guys would like. Um, I'm sure some of you may know how to do this already. If you do, that's awesome. If you don't, well here I am going to teach you how to do this. So I'm making a GIF image within an image. Now, if that makes any sense to you, I hope it does. So um, I went on Google.com and I found this really cool retro photo with this TV involved. And um, I'm like, oh, I have a great idea for this. So I cut out the inside of the TV, as you'll notice, the inside's transparent. So I'm now going to place a video inside that TV. Well, an animation, I should say, a GIF animation. So what I've already done, I, al I already have a video um, frame I wanted selected. So I would say don't, it, depending on the network you want to upload your um, GIF image to, it depends on the size. Now I want to use my image for Tumblr. So because Tumblr has a restriction of a one megabyte um, GIF image upload, I can only import a video that's at least three seconds or less longer. So my GIF image I'm making is going to only be around 3 seconds, and the video will repeat itself in the video. So I'm going to go import my lovely video footage. Now you can select a large video and then select the portion you want to use, that's fine. So go to import under file and select video frames to layers. Okay, now find the file you want to use, and mine's on my desktop somewhere. There we go. And um, mine's an MOV file, but I don't know. I think MOV is the only file you can use for this. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried this on a Windows, so if it doesn't, if a WMV file or an AVI file doesn't work, it may have to be a .MOV file. I'm not sure. So that's something you might want to figure out before you import your video into layers, but yeah. So over here, it gives you little options here. You can do from beginning to end, or if you do select here, you can select a portion of your video. I'm going to go with from beginning to end on mine, only because I know mine's three seconds long, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be around one megabyte, and that will be perfect for my lovely um, awesomeness. So now, you'll notice when you import your lovely video to your files, it's going to make a whole new like um, canvas and document. That's fine, because we're going to fix that momentarily. So once you have imported all of your lovely videos to your file, you'll see on your animation frames, it gives you a whole bunch of different frames. Um, I have 33 frames already in there, and I'm pretty sure that's going to work for me. Now, here's where we add our image. You're going to go to Image, and you're going to select Canvas Size. And you want to be careful with your canvas size. You want to make sure you check the size of your actual photo that you're using. So go back to your original document and go to image and image size. And then your image size is here, width and height. So my image is 550 pixels by 330. So cancel back to our main video frame layer. Now we'll go into image and canvas size and now we can size it to our pixels. So select pixels, not inches, but pixels. And then do five, whatever the size is for yours. Mine's 550 by 330. Um, oops. All right. And it's going to then resize your entire, um, your whole thing. So now that it's resized, let's go back to this image. And we're going to do a Control or Command AX. And we're going to cut that image out. And we're then going to paste it on top of every single layer. So make sure you paste this on top of everything. All right, not the bottom, but on the top of every video frame layer you have. And it will automatically appear in your lovely little frames thing here. Now, now that you've done that, you may have to resize or like move your um, video. And I bet you're thinking, well, how do I do that? It's very simple. It's not that hard. Go ahead and select your very last layer. Mine's layer 33. You're going to want to choose Command or Control, and then once you select your, not Command, excuse me, sh Shift. So select your last layer, which mine's 33, 
hold down your shift key and then select your very first layer which is layer one that will then select the entire video frame you have imported once you have all your video frames selected do a control or command T and then you're free to move your lovely video frame wherever you want it I'm gonna center it right there that's fine for me but whatever looks good to you also will work alright now once you have it placed where you like it you can leave it there and you can play it back now if you think you want to make the uh, photo you know have the video have more effects on it you could add an adjustment layer above all of your all, all of your video frames if you would like I'm not going to because I like it as is but there are those few people that have a photo that really would look you know really nice if it was with a low mo effect or something like that but if you like it the way it is cool now just to make sure that you're clear on this you want to make sure that the word forever is selected in your animation otherwise it'll only play once and then you'll be like oh hey that's so boring and really retarded and I don't like it so make sure that's selected okay and then once you um, are, are, are fine with it you like it you like where it is click this play button here and it will then play your lovely GIF image. All right, and that's what mine looks like. Pretty cool. Now, how do you save this, you're wondering? Hold on, we're getting there. So once you like where you have your lovely um, video frames and all that jazz, we're gonna save it. Go to File and Save for Web Devices. And then once you have this little screen opened here, select Preset and we're gonna select a GIF size of choice. They give you multiple options. Oh, they do. I don't really know exactly what the difference is. I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, for some reason, each of them has a different size file. I think what it is, is each of them has a different pixel or frames per second. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what that entails. But again, I'm not a perfectionist. I don't know everything there is to know about GIF images and all that stuff. So don't quote me on anything and don't hold me against it. So I'm just going to select GIF32 dithered. But um, again, and look at that, 536 kilobytes. That's even less than a megabyte. So I guarantee you Tumblr will accept this and love it. So you can click save and then just type in the name of the file and wherever you want to put it and it'll be there. Um, super. All right, now I'm going to minimize my Photoshop just for a bit, and we're going to go and play back our file and make sure we like it, because sometimes... Ah, you see that, guys? That's pretty cool. Look at that. Awesome! Now you're probably thinking, well, how did you get that cool, like, back-and-forth motion thing? I didn't do that. That was actually part of the video. That's why I selected that portion of the video because I thought it was really cool. So that's where that came into play. In case you were curious how I made that cool effect, it's not an effect. I didn't do it. It was in the video that I chose. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for liking and commenting anything you want. Um, I apologize if my lack of video uploads have been not to your standards or to your liking. I apologize. I'm going to get back on track with this. Um, I got my internet situation figured out now, so we're okay now, I think, I hope. So, yay. Now we can get back on track with all the awesomeness, and I promise more awesome things are coming. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything whatsoever, comment below. Inbox me here. You can even email me at jazztutorials at gmail.com. I do try to respond in a timely fashion. If I don't get back to you in whatever time frame. I'm sorry. I do get back to you eventually. Maybe not right away, but I will get back to you, I promise. I'm not going to leave you hanging on on a limb there. So, all right. I'm going to shush now and go away and let you um, watch this video. All right, bye. Yeah.